You know, one thing that happens to me quite frequently, I'll be in the garden or down in the orchard and a new weed will pop up. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where you didn't see it there a day or two ago and there it is now and you just kind of wonder where did it come from? What is it? Uh, what's it doing there? So rather than pulling it out, I always like to investigate. I always like to, to figure out what the name of the plant is. I mean, not that I'm going to keep it, but it's just, you know, I'm just inquisitive that way. So um, a lot of times I'll ask people that I know, I'll just pull it out and I'll, you know, like take it to friends or something like that and say, hey, you know what this is? But recently what I have found, I found a new way of identifying any weed or plant or even a tree that you have, you can always identify it now uh, using this program that I found. So the other day, I noticed this uh, next to one of my raised beds. And it wasn't in the pathway. It was kind of like on the other side of it between the fence and, and the raised bed. So it wasn't really someplace that I always walk. And so uh, the weeds kind of grew up there. And I only weed whack it like, you know, once every couple of weeks or so. So this was growing there. I didn't know what it was. So the easiest way to find out if you ever come across a plant or a weed and you don't know what it is, take a picture of it with your phone. Okay, so I took a picture of it, right? And then go on out to this website. It's called PlantNet. It's P-L-A-N-T-N-E-T dot O-R-G. Now, you'll, if you scroll down here a little bit, you'll notice that they have an app for the iPhone and an app for the Android or you can just use the online version. So right now I'm just going to use the online version and then it takes me to this identify, explore and share. So what this is basically, this is like, it seems like millions of people uploading pictures, identifying them and, uh, and then storing them into this huge database, right? I go to here where it says try plant net now and I go to where it says add drop an image. So I click on that and then I go ahead and find the picture that I want to upload. Now I downloaded this from my phone. So I just click on that right there and it'll upload. Okay, so look what pops up here. 52.52% say that it is the Yorkshire Fog, right? Uh, and then underneath it, ribbon grass. I don't think it's ribbon grass. Uh, it's just not laid out that way. So 13.82% ribbon grass. Then you scroll down here, water bent, Texas bluegrass. I know it's not Texas bluegrass. German velvet grass. I know it's not that. And um, so what you do is if you want to try to identify it, you just click on one of these pictures that have already been uploaded. So you click on that. And you look, yeah, that looks like it. That looks like it right there. So let's try this one here. Might be a better picture. Um, yeah, that's kind of a little bit blurry. But these are user uploaded, right? So it says right here who uploaded this. Luke Richard, uh, May 23rd, 2021. So someone else was identifying it. That is it right there. I'm going to actually say that it is that exactly. Let's take a look at mine. And yeah, I would, I would say that is definitely the same. If we put them side by side, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably it. Okay, so Yorkshire Fog, right? Now here's the deal. This is what's really great about this. I can look at all the pictures, right? But if I click on the actual botanical name, Holcus Linnaeus L. So right here on top, it gives you the actual species, right? And this is the common name right down here, Yorkshire Fog. And it's known by many other, right? So if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll notice on this map, this gives you a, uh, it's, it's a map of everywhere that it has been identified. Uh, so it has been identified in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, I'm going to, because I'm in Southern Oregon, so I'm actually going to say that I'm, I'm actually guessing that it probably is this Yorkshire fog. So it gives you quite a layout here of everything about this plant. Uh, the family, it gives you the genus, species, uh, and then common names. So this is pretty cool. So yeah, so Yorkshire fog is what we're going to call this plant right here. And... Um, yeah. Okay, so let's try a different one now. Okay, so now I've uploaded a new one here. Uh, this plant here, I know that it's a thistle, right? 
So uh, this was growing behind my shed. This thing was actually six feet tall. I don't know how I missed this, right? I don't go behind my shed an awful lot, but I was back there, I, I think about a week ago or so, and I don't remember seeing it or it must have been small. But this, I know it's a thistle, right? So I just pulled it right out of the ground before, after I took a picture of it. But uh, I just don't like thistles. It's got thorns and it was really, um, yeah, it's really, I don't like them at all. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I know it should come up thistle, right? Oh, sometimes, you know, I, I live out in the country, so sometimes my internet is like, it's faster if I would just send smoke signals, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it screams. It's really, it's it's unpredictable. Okay, so here we go. Um, looks like 90.83% say spiny sow thistle. Uh, so I know it's, a, it's okay, it's not a milk thistle, I know that, but, because um, I've seen them in the garden before and they don't produce that, that they don't lose that white stuff. Um, so spiny sow thistle. So let's take a look at this. Let's... Um, grab one of these leaves here and yeah that kind of looks like mine uh, mine has a purple I guess it is a purple center right there yeah let's take another look here so um, yeah that definitely looks like it I well I knew it was a thistle anyway so yeah that's definitely it okay and here there's that one or better yet that one and here's mine and yeah, that's definitely a, so it's called a, so I just, I just call it a thistle. So it's actually called a spiny sow thistle. So, oh well, <laughs> not that I'll remember. So if we click on this, it's um, Sanchez Asper. Okay, whatever. And it brings us a lot more information here. So not just a thistle, it's a sow thistle. Well, I'm going to get that messed up. So, okay, look over here. You'll notice, look where it's found. It's found all over. Um, definitely in the Pacific Northwest, Northwest where I am. Um, and this is just where it's been identified. I mean, it's probably just saturated everywhere all over the map. I mean, if you took probably, if you had a snapshot of everywhere that it actually is, instead of where it's been identified, this would probably just be saturated yellow. Same thing over here. Um, it may not grow down. Wow, it does, look at that. It does grow down the Southern Hemisphere. Wow. Yeah, it grows everywhere. There's a little island out here. How does, oh my goodness. Uh... That is, that is amazing. Look at that. This weed, this, so the, okay, so this is proof that weeds are everywhere. You just can't escape them. This doggone spiny sow thistle is everywhere on the planet. Oh, no wonder I have such a problem with it. So now the beauty of using the app, um, I have an Android phone, uh, but I know other people that use this with the with the iPhone, and it works great for both of them. So um, when I'm out in the garden, I don't have to come inside and then upload it uh, or download it from the phone to the computer and then upload it. Um, I can do it right from my phone when I'm in the garden. And within 30 seconds, I can take a picture of it, upload it, within 30 seconds know exactly what the name of the plant is. And then I can take a snapshot of my phone screen, and then I've always got it. And uh, then I can just pull the plant out and... And get rid of it but it's just kind of nice to know i thought you guys would be very interested in this um in this site and the app for it so anyways i think it's kind of cool i use it all the time i use it at least once or twice a week and uh, even when i'm out actually i've used it when i've gone to the park and i've seen plants at the park and whatnot if you're at a friend's house the beauty of this is like if you're at a friend's house you can go to like a botanical garden even take snapshots at a botanical garden of the flowers and upload a picture of a flower and they'll instantly tell you what it is so it doesn't just doesn't just have to be weeds in your garden it can just be any plant you want so anyways i thought you guys would like this so all right well thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch y'all later